So let's look at some features of longshore drift and in this presentation we will look at spits, bars and tombolos. Let's start with spits. A spit is an extension of a headland caused by deposition from longshore drift. Let's look at this coastline originally of Devon which would have had a headland at this point here and the other coastline is over here and the spit is the extension of the headland so the spit is there. So how does that form? To help explain how a spit forms let's take a look at this diagram. The green area is the land, the blue area is the sea and we have in the uh, Along the coastline we have a beach. I'm just going to shade it in yellow so that we can see it more clearly. And it's this material, this beach material, which is going to be transported by longshore drift along the coast, generally from west to east. Now when the beach material um, comes to a headland, moved by longshore drift, it does not go around the headland to this point here. It continues out into the sea. It's a natural process of longshore drift and beach sediment builds up until it breaks the surface and so beach sediment can continue to be deposited from west to east uh, along the coast. Um, this is a spit that is being formed and the spit can become wider through further longshore drift, through more deposition and at some point it will extend all the way out here towards the east. Now most spits have a um, curved end and this is due to a, a secondary wind, uh, a less prevalent wind but an important one nonetheless and in this case it's coming from the southeast and it simply causes longshore drift to change direction from west to east to south to north. So longshore drift um, continues to deposit in this direction to create what we call a curved end to our spit. Now our spit will never ever in this case um, head towards the um, mainland over there on the other side of the river because the river that's flowing out from the, uh, the mouth out into the sea is so fast at this point that it will wash away any sediment um, that, that might get deposited in this direction. It will end up down here out to sea. So there will always be a gap between um, the end of the spit and the other headland. It will never join. Behind our spit it is saline, it is calm and as a result of this um, marshland will start to develop and here you would find um, migratory birds and all sorts of um, aquatic um, ecological species um, which um, have their habitats here. So those are the main features of the spit. So now, so now if we return to um, our spit here um, we can see that uh, longshore drift uh, moved beach sediment um, from the southwest towards the northeast and extended the headland out in this direction and we can see the curved end which started to develop and of course the, the spit will never join the other headland because of the river X coming from the north there out into the, the sea and behind our spit, we have our um, nature reserve, the Dawlish Warren Nature Reserve, which actually provides our spit with a name, Dawlish Warren. Now, our second um, feature of um, longshore drift, deposition, is a bar. And if we imagine we have um, beach sediment up here towards the northeast of my photograph. And if we uh, say that longshore drift is from a um, northwest to southeast direction, uh, where we have a curve.
curve in the um, bend in the headland here. Um, deposition will simply continue from the northwest. Um, longshore drift will take it towards the southeast, and in this instance, the deposition will extend all the way to the other headland. There is no river intervening, um, and so our spit extends into a bar and this bar here is low bar down in Cornwall and behind the bar um, where it is um, cut off from the sea um, you will create a uh, lagoon um, which is a very calm area of water um, behind. And finally a tombolo um, is uh, very simply a beach which extends and in this case it is joining um, a headland here and it's joining the headland to an island here the island of Portland um, should be an island um, but it's not because the uh, beach here which at one point was only here um, has been extended by the process of longshore drift from the northwest towards the southeast and longshore drift has continued until it joins the uh, the island here and this feature is a tombolo and it's 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 wide enough to uh, have a road built on there um, it's well maintained in order to keep the road open and it it's a permanent feature of the landscape so a tombolo joins a headland to an island